inappropriate sinus tachycardia is sinus tachycardia inappropriate to the situation it is defined as sinus rates above 100 beats per minute at rest or average sinus rate above 90 beats per minute over 24 hours without an underlying cause important secondary causes of sinus tachycardia like the use of caffeine alcohol nicotine drugs of abuse like cocaine increased function of thyroid gland fever anxiety pain and other illnesses which can increase the heart rate have to be excluded before considering ist ist may be either asymptomatic or sometimes associated with palpitation shortness of breath near syncope chest pain anxiety or exercise intolerance in addition to resting sinus tachycardia an exaggerated response to even minimal exertion or stress are often noted in IST. A condition with similar symptoms is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. But symptoms of POTS are generally induced only by getting up from lying down or sitting position while those of IST can be induced by any effort and emotional stress. Different types of medications have been used to slow the heart rate in IST. Medications can improve the exercise tolerance of patients with IST significantly. In a study from Mayo Clinic, it was noted that about 90% of their patients with IST were females. The average age of the patients was about 33 years. In a small percentage of patients, a triggering event like pregnancy or infectious illness was found. But in the majority of patients, no triggering event was noted. The study period was between 1998 and 2018. Nearly a quarter each had associated depression and anxiety. IST did not cause tachycardiomyopathy or excess mortality. The presence of depression and anxiety in a significant number underlines the need for supportive care in addition to medications. Historically, surgical ablation, catheter ablation of sinus node, catheter modification of sinus node, and ablation of his bundle with implantation of a pacemaker were the procedures which have been tried in the past for IST, still causing distressing symptoms while on medications. These procedures are seldom recommended these days. Medications and lifestyle modifications are the main recommendations currently. Ivabradin has been given a class 2A recommendation in the expert consensus. Beta blockers and non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers may be useful in controlling IST. Surgery could be either open heart surgery to isolate the sinus node or minimally invasive surgery. These are reserved for an occasional extreme case not amenable to medical treatment. Catheter ablation or modification was done using electrode catheters introduced into the blood vessels and guided to the heart using X-ray imaging techniques in a special procedure room known as electrophysiology laboratory. While ablation totally eliminates the function of the sinus node, modification just reduces its rate. In sinus node ablation, the signals are abolished, while in his bundle ablation, the signals cannot reach the lower chambers. Sinus node sparing hybrid thoracoscopic ablation for inappropriate sinus tachycardia is another novel procedure which appears promising. As of now, we have only non-randomized study data. We need randomized control trials before a firm recommendation can be made on this novel treatment option. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.